Hey you guys, it's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna decorate my classic spread for next week. It's the first day of summer on the 21st, the official first day of summer. So I'm gonna use the new Hello Summer book from Live Love Posh again. I'm so excited about all the summer spreads that this is gonna create. I think I wanna use this, the very first set in here, this pink and blue, the pools, like the heart-shaped pools. I am actually in Memphis visiting some family and we're gonna to go to the pool tomorrow, so I'm super excited. I think I'll start out with this. With this large pool over here on the weekend. Oh, that's so cute already. Okay, and then over here in the sidebar, let's get some flower action. I think I'll put that there and then this little umbrella also, since it's already cut for the side. And then I'll do this over here on this corner, just the leftover that I cut off of that. Already, it's just beautiful. Okay, so let's also do, I'm gonna use, I think, some of these quotes in the back. Let's do Hello Summer. right up here by the pool. Isn't that so cute? And then I'm gonna put this Every Summer Has Its Story right down here. Right. And then over here, let's do this striped girl laying out with a striped towel in the corner here. I'm kind of thinking about, since I'm doing a lot of decoration in this spread, I think I'll pick this up and go do a long box here in the sidebar. I think I'll do pink boxes from the Live Love Posh Functionally Chic Pink Blooms. And as always, you can always use code MICHELLE10 to save 10% off on your purchases. Uh, and I'll have my link in the description box and it's good on everything except for posh boxes. So I think I wanna use this super duper bright pink. Okay. I'm gonna put that right over here, like that. And then I'm gonna put this down toward the bottom, I think. Or is that too much stripe at the bottom? I think it might be. Okay, I'll just layer it over that flower, that's cute. And then maybe I could put like a little to-do or something right there. So let me go ahead and draw some lines in this box. All right. Now I've got some of the blue, functionally chic blooms, and I'm gonna use that bright blue and maybe just a big full box like this. I'm gonna put this down a little bit. Like 
like this because I want to use that pool sticker, the other one. There's one on the side that's, I mean, that's like cut for the edge. So pretty. It looks like you're looking down on a beautiful, like fancy beach resort, doesn't it? Okay, just like that. I think I'll bring a little bit of the light pink in too. So I'm gonna grab a smaller light pink box like this because there is different shades of pink in that in that in those flowers. Let me scoot it up a little bit. All right. And then I feel like a quote here would be good too. Let me see what I have in my quotes book that's already made. Let's see. I've got summer in this one and this one, so I don't really want to do that. I could use the sun and fun or bring on the sun. I kind of like this one. I think I'm gonna use this smaller one so it'll fit right in this little area. And then down here, let's do, let's do a couple of like slender boxes. Well, I'll do this larger blue one. Right here and then a slender like a hot pink like this bright pink actually I think I'm gonna use a smaller one because it looks funny with that same box right above and below, so just two skinny ones. Because I am in Memphis this week and I'm not gonna have like a whole lot of to-dos, like it's more just gonna be visiting and everything. So this, this spread can be a little bit more decorative. All right, so let's do this. And then over here toward the weekend, I'll be you know, getting ready to head back home. So I think I'll do a larger box over there, like a hot pink double box. Maybe kind of coming out from that pool. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and draw some lines in that one too. Just making little marks so I can be sure and get them straight. I wish they would make a line it up, check it off stencil that's wider than this one. Okay, perfect. And I can also do some journaling there if I end up not needing all that space, but I just wanted to have plenty of room. So let's do also a few boxes here. Let's do a blue. Let's do this, this size blue right here, just across the weekend and then um, smaller above it, like maybe in the hot pink since we have the pale pink over here. Here we go. I'll just do one of these. I do wanna have at least one of that color over here too. So I'm gonna put this right here. I think this spread is gonna be just really clean and pretty. It looks crisp, the colors do. Okay, and I might do a larger box here like in the, the light pink or maybe the blue. Let's do the blue.
I think that could be pretty cute. But I think I want to have the pink on top of the blue one. that's going to work. Um, let's get some more decorative elements. That's pretty much, I'm pretty sure that's all the boxes I need because I used quite a few. Oh, that's cute there. I think I'll do both of these leaves kind of clustered together. In this little corner. Tiny little scrap up here for a little bit more green. Let's get some of this over here too. And what else? What else do we want to do? that little tote bag there. Okay, I think I want to use the bigger leaf. So I'm going to take this one for a touch of green over here. This one here. Put that there. got another leaf. I wish there were more of these. There are some in the larger clusters too, but just these single leaves are so cute. Let's do it right here. And so maybe I could use this smaller one down here. We need a little bit of floral action right here. Okay. Here's how my Paris spread is looking, that part of it. I absolutely love that spread. This one is totally different from that, so I'm ready for some bright after after the vintage look last week, which I still do love. All right, something right here. Oh, how about this blue drink? That's cute, but I still think it needs something else. I think just part of this will be good. And I can still use the rest somewhere else. And then have the drink right here. I don't like how it covers up so much of the blue though. Let's get this little sunscreen bottle instead. 
Okay, I'm gonna do some bullet points, and sh do we think I should use the ones that come in these books? I haven't ever used them, the little square check boxes. Oh, I forgot these come with these. Now I'm gonna use these. I, I just love cir the circles. Okay, the pink, then the blue. Okay. Or I could do it down here because it's kind of empty across the middle. What do we think? Let's look. And then I could still use this to write, but I just wouldn't have any like boxes or bullet points there. I think I like that better. Okay, so also let's do a couple up here and here. And that should be good. Maybe a few more finishing touches. Okay, so let's do this one up here and then a blue one. And then down here Okay, now a few more finishing touches and black words and we'll be good to go. Okay, I've got a little scrap here. Maybe I could put that right there. Kind of tucked under the towel. She's got her little phone and cute little hat, sunglasses. I love this, it's so cute. All right, that is perfect. Go ahead and do the black words and see what we need. I think what I'm gonna use this for actually is a shopping list. So let me see what I have. I think I'll just use this larger one that says list because it fits perfect, perfectly right there. And let's see, we need something down here to we'll do get it done right here and then how about one of those other ones that looked a little bit different that are more decorative I feel like they look more like a quote sort of one of these that says do this right here because that's almost like another little quote. And then I'm just gonna put a few more little flowers on and call it good. So I've got this little pink one. I think I'll put that right there. By that green leaf and I'm gonna do the rest of the tiny little scrap that's left on the top of this towel just tucked right underneath the, t the edge what about the little blue drink here okay that's cute super duper cute I love it the only thing I'm wondering is, should I draw a few lines in this box? I think I'm gonna just leave it open for now. I'm gonna call that my spread. I'm so excited about this summertime spread and these bright colors. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I had so much fun putting it together. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also before I go, I'd like to wish my friend and patron, Stephanie Porter, a happy birthday. Today's her birthday. So happy birthday, Stephanie. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.